here today. Have you seen that uh, throughout the first 12 practices? No. No, he's, he's building his consistency, though. Um, his footwork has now put him in a position um, where he can uh, accurately put the ball where it needs to be um, and be so much more consistent with his, his progression reads. Throwing a seam ball. I don't know that we threw a seam last year, an inside seam, other than a bender with the tight end. Um, his ability to do that is a product of He's really been much more consistent with his footwork, and his delivery and throw motion has allowed him to throw a lot more on the black and throw strikes. <coughs> it's Brandon Wimbush, right? I mean, he's a classic case of he is in such a better place mentally, confident, um, knows his technique, can trust it. Has anyone surprised you in those situations as you've gone through spring um, in terms of consistency or being that guy in the big moment? Being the guy in the big moment. Um, no, I think they've been the guys. I think it's more about making sure that we get everybody, um, you know, to, to, to rise up to that occasion uh, when their best is needed. And, and you've got to communicate. And I'll, give you, I'll give you a little example. You know, Brandon, you know, is... is as, as he plays, you know, he likes to kind of take a deep breath and calm down. And, and, and what I want him to do is amp it up a little bit. Because when he's amped up and he's talking and he's communicating, that comforts the other 10 players. Because they know if Brandon Wimbush is out there barking and, and telling guys what to do, they know we're going to score. So it's kind of like flipping that role a little bit and putting that on Brandon to be, hey, I want you to be vocal. I want you to say I want the ball. Because if the other guys hear that, that you have that kind of demeanor and mindset, the other 10 guys, they're going to be cool customers. So kind of working on those things.